was in the back of this car with some motherfuckers, and um, we were driving to go get some food, go some, go some, some cookout or some shit. It was like 2 a.m. or something. Most things were closed. Um, God forbid Winston Salem. Um, if you want to go anywhere, you go to a Denny's, Waffle House, or Cookout. Um, all of them are shit, but eh, Cookout's cheaper. So we were driving over there, and you know, you got a bunch of boys in the car. You get rowdy. You say some shit. Um, not gonna lie, I was saying shit too, but. Not too much, really. I was just craving a hamburger. Um, and on this drive, at one point, we had a guy next to me on my right hand side, if I remember correctly. And this motherfucker was white. Not not white, white. This guy, you know, he's the type of motherfucker who would complain about how much of a struggle it is to go to college, but probably lives in a fucking amazing house, has two wonderful parents who are lawyers who probably see this video will sue my ass. Um, so yeah, at one point, this motherfucker just looks at me with his stupid white teeth and his rat fuck eyes, looks me dead in the eyes and says, son of, you are hands down the whitest Indian I have ever met. I don't know in too many Indians, so um, I don't know if that statement is true, but um, in that moment though, I came to a perplexity. I've been called a lot of horrible things in my life. I've been called a sand n-word, I've been called a dune coon, towel head, brownie, um, a curry, man, um, curry boy, um, just slurs in general. Um, I think they're probably worse than what he said. But what he said to me got to me. What does it mean by being the whitest Indian that he knows? Like, he's not fucking Indian. What the fuck does he know about my culture? Is he is he taking this from pop culture stuff? Like, I'm not the fucking refugee baby from fucking Jesse with my pet lizard walking around like, Oh, hello, there, sir. Oh, thank you so much for saving my life. I'm not that guy. Um, I'm not the fucking Raj from Big Bang Theory. I, unlike him, I can talk to people. So what, what, what is it? Am I fucking Balji? Am I the one who get, takes it up the ass by every fucking white bully out there? No, I'm not that fucking guy either. So what does he mean by that? What does he mean that I'm the whitest Indian that he knows? And I'm trying to think about it. It's, and it feeds into this disgusting thought that some people have to be a certain way. I get it. My, 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 par my, my, my parents from back home from India, they'll say that, oh yeah, you're, you're Americanized, you're white. And I, I get where they're coming from. Is it right? No, I don't think so at all. But what does this one white dude have that he knows that I, I, I'm this white being. And I think back to it, it's fucking privilege. You have some fucking nerve and right to say that you, you can call me that shit. I'm sorry, but you don't know my fucking life. You don't know what the shit I've been through. You know, when I was a young kid, I remember the first time I ever talked to someone who was white, this little girl, I was playing around on the play set and I said hello to her. And the first thing she says to me is, you look different. You look like the color of who? And I'm fucking looking over there, and I'm thinking to myself, I look around, I see myself, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I don't look like any of the motherfuckers that would be here. Is there something wrong with me? Am I in the wrong? No, and we fast forward a little bit. I remember when, I, when we were learning about 9-11 in our school, this girl, Emily, she comes up to me, and she looks at me dead in the eyes at lunch, and she says, are you a terrorist? And I'm like, what do you mean by that? She's like, well, Osama bin Laden did this. And he was from India. Clearly this bitch does not know anything about geography. But no. I look at her, and I, and I, I, but I go back home and I'm fucking terrified. I'm fucking worried. I'm thinking to myself, oh my god, am I the terrorist? Did I destroy this? And I realize I'm not the only one going through this. My parents don't fucking have the privilege. I remember when they first came to America, they were accused of 9-11. Still to this day, some motherfuckers in my hometown think that I fucking caused it. I think back to one day when I was in high school, I was walking around with, um, just by myself, and I had my bag with me, and I'm walking, and I pass a couple fucking toothless fucking rednecks, and they come up to me, and they say, where's the fucking bomb, huh? And that day, I, I wanted to just rip off my backpack, just throw everything on the ground, and just say, I don't have anything. That's not fucking me. But I didn't. I just kept on walking. You know, there's one other story that comes to this point. And it was
was this one girl that I was talking to, and I think she really got me. You know, you're 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 a young kid. You 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 think that, you know, people know you and shit. You know, you think you like somebody. You don't really know what that means yet, but I remember coming up to her and I asked her. I told her, hey, like you know, I really like you, and I want to know if we can go out. And she said no, and that's not the that that, that part doesn't really upset me in this moment. believe in the same religion as her and that I wasn't right that's the issue I bring up with this you see he might think I'm the whitest Indian out there and those people from back fucking home might think I'm this white I'm this fucking Americanized motherfucker but no when I'm over here I'm seen as uh, I'm seen as a fucking brown Indian and over here I'm seen as a white man so I don't really know where the fuck I land at at this point and it frustrates me because throughout all my life, I don't know where I am. I don't. And, and I really wish I could look at this motherfucker right dead in the eyes, look at his stupid fucking white teeth and punch him right in the jaw, break them all off. I wish I could go back in time and punch every single motherfucker who called me a sand and word doom coon, towel head, fucking brownie piece of shit. And I'm gonna look, and I wish I could look at any motherfucker who thinks they can tell a brown man or a black person or a Chinese or anybody that they know about the fucking culture. I wish I could tell these motherfucking avocado e eating, fucking uh, pumpkin spice drinking, motherfucking put um things that they know shit because they're a liberal fucking motherfucker. I, I wish I could. I wish I could take their fucking necks. I wish I could ring them out. I wish I could tell these motherfuckers, who these Weezer um Weezer listening, fucking J Cole listening, fucking Mountain Goat listening, take these motherfuckers that think they 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 they, they know fucking shit, but mommy and daddy's on vacation on their fucking boats and yachts. I wish I could look them dead in the eyes and I wish I could say fuck you. Fuck this shit. I'm done.